And, you know, I think I read somewhere, I think it was on blackmedia.com that even after the George Floyd and Breonna Taylor deaths, there was, there was a part of you, you were kind of like, do I want to keep doing this? Yeah. And I, collectively, I think a lot of African Americans or minorities in general feel that sometimes, you know, that because especially when the progress is with respect to equality is not happening Mm -hmm. as quickly as we want to. And so what kind of gave you the inspiration to stay with it, which we're so glad you did? Yeah, I mean, there, I think there, there was a moment where I was like, oh, do I continue on? But I, I think that I just have to remind myself that I don't let other people choose for me. I choose for myself, you know, or I don't let circumstances choose for me. I choose for myself. Um, You know, I think, like I said, it is so important that I am doing this work and that I I, I choose to stick with it and be this leader and no matter how hard it is, but be this leader that leads with uh, grace and, you know, respect and just continue to make the leaps that I have made just in a short amount of time in my career. And that has meant so much to me. And I'm so honored um, to, to be able to play this position in my life right now. 